All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys another pair of sneakers that somewhat resembles this sneaker right here. This is the off-white Nike Blazers from the 10, designed by Virgil Abloh, rest in peace, Virgil. And then this is a previous pair that I said that kind of looks similar to it, and I did a video on these ones. This is a pretty nice pair with that recycled grind midsole. Uh, and then they have another one. This is a jumbo swoosh pair that again has a, some sort of very similar vibes to the off-white. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys a video of these and then kind of compare them to the other models out here. Let's go ahead and get in the video. What is going on guys, Hess here. Hopefully you're having a good day out there. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. If you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you guys haven't used my website, Collective Kicks, I post a bunch of sneaker deals that I find for you guys on Twitter and Instagram and I just post them to my site. This video though, I wanted to cover this pair of sneakers right here and I will link them in the description if you're looking to buy a pair. And these are available on Nike.com for those people that are looking. It looks like they restocked them finally. It's been a while. Uh, so good to see them back in stock. But from what the box says, it says this is a Blazer Mid 77 Jumbo. Retail is $110. And then it's white, black, and then sale is the color uh, of this colorway. This is one of those shoes that I kind of saw images of and I was like, oh, that's interesting. Very interesting looking swoosh on the side. Obviously reminds you very much of the Blazer uh, Off-White collaboration with Virgil uh, because it's just a jumbo oversized swoosh that wraps around. Uh, this one is done a little bit differently though, obviously, and I'll show you guys that in detail in a second. But overall, I was kind of impressed with what I saw, but when I saw them in person, I was like, okay, these are actually pretty decent. There's a couple of the details that they added to this shoe that just make it kind of uh, unique in itself, but also very similar to something that uh, you're trying to get if you want like a knockdown version of the Blazers right here. Because this off-white pair is sitting around $1,800, so $110 is a nice alternative. And again, you have very similar vibes. There's a little bit of orange and a little bit of red on both of them, and a giant oversized black swoosh with a white and sail or cream uh, kind of midsole going on obviously this one looks a little bit more vintage but let me get into some words what nike says about this model nike blazer mid 77 jumbo 110 dollars the swoosh gets big and bold praised by many for its enduring look and feel the wardrobe stable hits refresh with the nike blazer mid 77 jumbo harnessing the old school look you love it now has an elastic heel with corduroy like texture and a large pull tab for easy on and off the oversized swoosh design and jumbo laces add for a fun twist. The elastic heel allows you to slip on and get going quicker. Exaggerated pull tab on the back and tongue let you pull them on and off with ease. The oversized swoosh design and jumbo laces add a bold look to any outfit. Capturing the essence of the classic blazer, the stitched leather overlays and soft suede accents on the toe add heritage hoop style. The extra thick thread for the stitching enhances the look with a defiant touch. A raised herringbone pattern on the rubber outsole exaggerates the classic look. And that's something that's very noteworthy is that raised herringbone traction on the bottom. It is very, very thick. And these are quite heavy comparison. This feels like at least a pound for this one right here because it is so incredibly heavy, which makes it the heaviest one of the three out here. And I had to grab my Sakai's and honestly, it's on par with these. These things are crazy heavy. So are these right here. So honestly, the stylings of this thing, I really like them. I think that they have a lot of cool features. First and foremost is that oversized swoosh. It is a little bit ridiculous and exaggerated. I will say that the off-white version is a little bit more of a premium feel. This feels kind of like a cheap uh, PU, like a uh, fake leather more or less, but basically it kind of overlays over top of the midsole even on one side, and then is a little bit of a thicker band across the back, and then it is not overlaid on the other side of the shoe versus the off-white pair, it's overlaid over top of the midsole on both sides. And when it comes to the back of the heel, it does taper up a bit. Another similarity to both of them is they do have raw edge tongues, uh, as you could see right here. So the exposed foam on the side is what I'm talking about there. And that's similar to what they had on this pair as well. I do like that the jumbo took things in a little bit of a different direction with the zigzag stitching across the tongue. And I do like this little pull tab on the tongue here. It is actually kind of interesting because uh, the pull tab actually covers the Nike branding, which if you look at PR and stuff for the people at Nike, they're probably gonna look at this and go, that's a terrible idea. Why would you wanna do that? But that's kind of similar again to what they did with the off-white version because this one has a Nike Air branding on the side of the tongue, not in the middle and it's over to the side and you can't really even see it. Similarly different, they're both not visible. I actually kind of dig that they did that. I like that the toe cap right here has a little bit of flare with some suede and then it has that zigzag stitching across it in orange, which that orange accent could also be found on the off-whites, obviously, with the little tab right here on the back. Or the orange laces in my case, because I went with orange laces. But I like the variation in color with the, the pull tab here. I thought it was red, but maybe it is orange here. And then uh, the stitching here, and then also on the back. And speaking of the back, you do have another pull tab back here that you can use to slide on the shoe. Uh, makes it a little bit easier, they say. And then the other major difference is obviously this crazy uh, stretchy material uh, around the collar of the shoe. I think they did a good job on that because that's not something I would have actually even considered 
considered when I was looking at this shoe, but when I see it in person, I'm like, oh yeah, that's kind of cool. Kind of, I don't know, it just, it feels right and it fits well with this model. Because most of you guys already know the Nike Blazer fits pretty sleek. And for sizing of these, I would say they do fit true to size. However, Nike Blazers are always extremely narrow. So if you have wide feet, the Nike Blazers aren't the most comfortable shoes for uh, us wide feet gangs. I do have a little bit of a wider foot, so it's not the most comfortable for me, but it's also a really hard uh, rubber midsole and outsole. So if comfort's the thing, this is not what I'm gonna be going for anyway. And then that midsole wrap looks very similar uh, to the other Blazers. Obviously it is a Blazer, so it should. And then the outsole traction with that protruding herringbone is nuts. Very, very cool. I like the way that they add that as well. Gives it definitely a rugged vibe to it. Uh, so it's sleek and a little bit rugged. I don't know, I like it. And then you can't really talk about these without these ridiculous size laces. I feel like this might be the, the first pair of sneakers that I have with ridiculously fat laces on them. And I like it. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do uh, because it's again, sleek kind of in the back, rugged on the bottom. And then you have these jumbo fat laces and the jumbo swoosh. For some reason, this shoe really works for me and I didn't really expect it. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Leave a comment in the comment section. What do you guys think about the jumbo blazers? How does it stack up to the off-white blazers? Does it kind of satiate your palette? If you're trying to get this, this is a nice alternative look. It's definitely something I would wear and I do have the off-white blazers as well. So I don't know. I think there's something to be said about that. I like that it's a little bit different than this. It's not an exact copy and it has its own flair and something that's original to the blazer, which honestly is not easy to do considering the blazer has like 50,000 different colorways out there from Nike, including a recycled one like this one, which also has that off-whitish sort of vibes to it. However, I think this one is a little bit closer because of the jumbo swoosh, but really combine these two together have a lot of similarities to the off-white pair. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Nike is just sort of milking the off-white color palette in general? And to be fair, Virgil did a great job on the 10. However, he's not the first one to use the color combinations, I guess, from Nike, especially like this color combination is very Nike-ish. But I do think that there's a lot of similarities there. Any which way, leave some comments, let me know what you guys think. And then if you guys wanna buy a pair of these, 110, link in the description, take you over to Nike's site and if they do sell out i'll link you guys over to ebay as well uh but pleasantly surprised definitely glad i cop these and i really like this colorway they have some other ones that are really nice as well but i do think that this is like one of those great sleeper models that there's not a lot of hype behind them and it's easy to pick up and uh yeah i'm there for it so anyway thank you guys for stopping by and watching if you guys enjoyed the content please uh, drop a like on the video if you guys do like the content again and then if you guys do want to subscribe to the channel feel free to do so as well have a good rest of the day and hopefully we'll see you back for some more videos all right peace guys